Okay, and I thought, wow, that is some good aromas. <laughs> We'd have gave her the Did nickname. Did you also have some mushrooms before? She'd have gone, no, I don't need them, baby. I'm up there all the time. Mm. But uh, it was quite a morning, and Joe, God bless him, he got those bowel blockages. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what that, nice was, that, was, that, was, that That was happening as I was driving over here, you know. <laughs> and you know these, you know, all all the, uh, the myths, uh, Santa Claus versus... Uh, the other guy, Jesus and Santa, and which the one do you guy. believe in? The other know? guy. Hey, has anybody world. seen that menorah? Speaking of religious stuff, man, one of my Jewish buddies sent me what I consider one of the greatest pictures I've ever oh, seen. I, I, I see, I it's a menorah that. with nine joints in it. <laughs> Send it out to every Jew I know, and they all love it, man. You got to know that I'd become an attendee. You can make me like an honorary Jew. Oh, I, I, I bring you in, honey. I clean up them old used roaches that are in that menorah. But then there's, there's another step toward brotherhood and another reason to check out that 420 thing. You kids out there, mom and dad will explain this all. Oh yeah, they know all. They know all about that. Trust me. And uh, like I say, the darkest day is already, get, you know, it's in, in motion. Yeah, we're Tomorrow's the first one it. of the brighter ones. <coughs> All the virgins are going to be out come spring, right around 420, which is my <laughs> anniversary. Yeah, you know, me and my wife, we've been together a long time. How long have you been married? I don't know, man, since 1957. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, when Monsignor well, O'Halloran, Monsignor O'Halloran, yeah. he called us years. Hans uh, of the uh, Devil <laughs> and Living in Sin. You'll be in here this Saturday. <laughs> Barry Fitzgerald manifestation. But uh, it was a very spiritual and musical show today. And the poetry and the deep, the deep snow, man, I can dig it. That reminded me of an old corny joke. But I laughed with it with Victoria. <laughs> so he's not going to share it. No, this is not for an on the air joke. But I was thinking, I'm going to get a little bit. I got a poem in my pocket, baby. I wrote it just for you. You know, those country songs, they're easy to get a start to. You know, my favorite country song is I walked into the elevator of your mind and you gave me the shaft. Do you remember that? Oh, I like that. I like that. Good good song. Song. Good I like song. George's good one. Of, uh, yeah, that's a great song. George had one that was, uh, I got you out of my mind, but I can't get you out of my apartment. <laughs> bent to his nature, you know. How can I forget you when you won't go away? <laughs> Practicality, yeah. I love them, and I love all the songs, and the rhythm and blues, and what went on here this morning uh, took me away, man. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great party. Let's let's give credit to the, the spirit. Well, let's give the credit spirit. to the people who came to the party. Arwood and Kate Johnson, yeah. and Professor Louie, and Miss Marie, and, oh, and Martin, music. Victoria yeah. Sullivan, Susan Rose, and Patrick. Oh. Martin on the phone. Who could ask for a better holiday time with you folks? And uh, Professor, you want to take us out or yeah. pull us in or well, whatever uh, shove us to. or <laughs> do whatever you like? You got that beautiful accordion. Can you do it in Spain? Just give me a little ring. Yeah.
this lonely crowd. A man who swears he's not to blame. Now all day long you hear him shouting so loud. He's shouting out that he was free. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Great seeing everybody.